Africa is poor and unsafe to live. This is one of the most common misconceptions people have about living in Africa. The truth is, it's not your fault. Over the years, Western media has shown negative images and focused on the poorest and most isolated regions in Africa. This is driven by cultural and political biases and business interests. Of course, there are poor and underdeveloped regions in Africa. But in reality, Africa is a relatively comfortable place to live. It is home to over 50 different countries and has some of the best urban cities. To see how this continent really is, it is important to challenge the dominant framework posed by the media and look at Africa from a different perspective. That's why it is best to experience things and see for yourself. Today we will help you debunk all the popular myths about this culturally rich and stunning continent. Myth number one, Africa has no big cities, only land. Africa has the fastest urban growth in the globe. The continent's population is estimated to double between 2020 and 2050. Two-thirds of this growth is expected to be absorbed by urban areas, and in the next three decades, cities are projected to be a home for an additional 950 million people. Africa has some of the biggest, fanciest, and most well-designed cities in the world. Here's what cities in Africa actually look like. Nairobi is the capital city of Kenya and one of the fastest growing cities on the continent. It is a well-designed area with a unique mix of modernity and tradition. The bustling city has a wide range of accommodations that cater to every budget and a great nightlife. One of the most interesting places to visit is the Nairobi skyline. With modern buildings and skyscrapers, the central district also has modern commercial buildings, towers, and favored venues for exhibitions, events, seminars, and conferences. Still not convinced? Nairobi has the largest retail center in Sub-Saharan Africa. The Two Rivers Mall is a shopping mall that houses more than 200 stores. It has both international and local fashion brands, making it a popular destination for shopping and entertainment. Lagos is a huge financial center and the cultural and entertainment capital of Africa. It is also the most exclusive city to live in. It is a densely populated area with busy streets and some serious traffic jams. The truth is, it is not just the skyscrapers and amazing buildings that make Lagos a popular place to live in, but the job opportunities as well. This city is surrounded by water bodies, which means it gets access to some remarkable beaches and tourist attractions. Many multinational companies have branch offices here it is also home to several high net worth individuals. Some of the top multinational companies that have offices in Lagos are Google Technology Multinational and Shell Petroleum Development Company. So, if you're looking for a city that tunes in with the modern world, Lagos is the place to be. Tunis is the biggest city and the capital of Tunisia. This modern metropolis is full of surprises. On one side, there are many ancient buildings and cultural centers that showcase the real richness of the history of this place. But on the other side, you can see picturesque buildings, apartments, popular venues, and tourist destinations with modern quarters, like the iconic Atratan office building, which was recently completed in Tunisia. This type of architecture specializes in contemporary projects, creating a glass construction with distinctive features that fit perfectly in a modern city. Myth number two. Cities in Africa are dirty and dangerous. Africa has some of the greenest and cleanest cities. Cape Town is the continent's greenest city and plans to become greener and more sustainable. Nairobi, Cairo, Johannesburg, Kinshasa, and Lagos are also among the best in terms of ecological transition and environmental practices. This is something several cities in America and Europe lack. Although crime is a major socioeconomic problem, because of labor surplus and uneven distribution of power and wealth. This is common in other continents as well. Myth number three, people in Africa are uneducated. Africa has some of the best universities in the world. Here, people can get a high quality education. Take the University of Cape Town, for example. It is ranked number 125th in the best global universities. That means it is in the top 300 of the global rankings. Other top quality educational centers include the University of Witzwatersrand, Stellenbosch University, University of Ibadan, Cairo University, and more. Based on recent statistics, Africa's current primary school enrollment rate is over 80%. The African continent 
has seen some of the highest increases in elementary school enrollment in the last couple of decades. Although, not everyone ends up going to college. There are plenty of people with a college degree. Myth number four, people who live in Africa have no access to modern technology. Today, around 20 to 22 million people in South Africa are using smartphones. This accounts for roughly one third of the country's population. Samsung is the most popular brand in the region, accounting for over 40% of the purchased devices. Nigeria is another country with a huge smartphone user base. Nigeria is at the top of the list of African countries with the biggest number of mobile phones. Mobile technologies and services continue to fuel the region's economy, but they are not the only technologies that are available on the continent. Egypt is also seen as a forerunner in digital media. According to statistics, revenue in the digital media market in Egypt is estimated to reach $1,165,000 in 2023. The biggest segment in the market is video games with an estimated volume of $692 million in 2023. Myth number five, Africa is sunny, dry, and hot all of the time. Africa is a diverse continent with different temperatures and landscapes. The regions located on the equator receive the most solar heat than any other area on the planet. Since the equator cuts across the center of the African continent, it makes Africa the most tropical continent in the world. But the rest of Africa lies south and north of the equator, so it is normal for countries to have rainfall, mild moist winters, and dry summers. For example, Cape Town in South Africa has a Mediterranean climate with dry summers and rainy winters. For many, the Mediterranean climate is an optimal climate to live in. It is not as hot as in the desert, nor too cold in some other regions of the globe. Nigeria, on the other hand, has three distinct climate zones. In the south, there is a tropical monsoon climate. Most central regions have a tropical savanna climate. In the north, has a semi-arid and Sahelian hot climate. So, even if it gets very warm, you can pop the air con and call it a day. Myth number six, Africa is poor. Africa is rich in natural resources. They range from natural gas to water, yes water, wildlife, forests, and minerals. This continent holds a major portion of the natural resources in the world, both non-renewables and renewables. Data shows that this continent contains 30% of the world's mineral reserves, 12% of oil reserves, and 8% of natural gas. It has up to 90% of its platinum and chromium, and 40% of the world's gold. The land offers plenty of resources. The only problem is that many of these resources are used unsustainably or go through illegal activities. For example, Africa loses billions of dollars every year of its natural capital through illegal mining, logging, and wildlife trade. Overall, the continent has a lot to gain if it were to pull and harness the vast natural resources together and use them for the region's development. It could be one of the most sustainable and self-reliant continents on the globe. This is just the tip of the iceberg. Africa has a ton of beautiful places and modern buildings. Hopefully, this video gave you a little insight into the true beauty of the African continent. Have you visited any of these places? Which one did you like the most? Don't forget to share your experiences in the comments below and subscribe to the channel for more content. We'll see you next time.